Hey, what's going on, guys? Today I got a call from a viewer who said, Brett, help me out. I can't rank in the Google three pack. So I'm going to create a video that's not only gonna help him, but it could also help you. I'm gonna throw in all the little tricks, all the little secrets that I use to rank my clients in the Google three pack. Watch this. This one's for you, brother. I really miss you. Love you, Darren. All right, guys, let's rock this one out, right? So I get a call today from a fella named Joffrey, um, and he's a home painter out in Orlando. And he's like, hey, man, you know, I'm kind of ranking in, in just in my very small area, but I don't appear to be ranking outside my area. So what I did was the first question that I asked him is what grid program do you use? When I say a grid program, if we ever have the opportunity to speak, I mean something like this. This is a grid program by Local Falcon. Now there are other ones by uh, GMB Crush has a grid program and Local Viking has a grid program and Bright Local has a grid program, right? So you got to try to find the program that is easiest for you. For me, it's local fact, and it's just very, very easy to use. All right. So you get a you get a subscription for local falcon i think it's 24 dollars per month and you type in your keyword we typed in house exterior house painting and we want to get a general view of where he's ranking in orlando and it appears just from this that he's not ranking very well okay so now if i'm assigned to take over this account what would i do right you don't know where you're going unless you have your starting point. I can't tell you how important that is. If you're starting right here in the center, let's just say your business is registered here, your, your GMB is registered right here, and you tell me, well, I am ranking about 10 miles away to the, to the west. And I say, what grid program are you using? It's like, well, I don't know. It's just up when I check on other computers or my cell phone. Hey guys, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Thank you guys. That's not true. That's not true, right? Your cell phone, it may be cached. Maybe the, maybe the computer you're using it may be cached, meaning that the memory, it knows that that's what you're looking for and it's coming up. Look, the best way to do it is to have this grid program. If you're interested in ranking in maps, spend the $24 a month, right? I don't have an affiliate code, so, you know, I don't have an affiliate code. So um, I'm just telling you this because it's, it's really important. Okay, so we got that. Okay, so at least we know where we're starting. We can't be found. So the next thing that I would do, right? First is the, ge is the geo grids. The next thing I do is I changed my location to his location. Uh, I use this program called GS Location Changer. And it, I'm able to change my location from Tampa to Orlando, Florida. I could change it to anywhere in the world. And I typed in exterior house painting. And I just want to just, just, I want to do two things. I want to scroll down and see if I could find his company, and I couldn't, so I'm not going to waste your time looking for it. But the next thing I want to do is I want to see the GMB category that his competition is using. So it appears to be painter, that's a GMB category, and painting. And I want to see which one is used more. Well, Serta is using painter but well painted of Central Florida is using painting and the next one's using painting and the next one's using painter. So just by looking through here, it appears, right? More people appear to be using the, the GMB category painter. So I wanna make sure, am I using the correct category? Now, sometimes you'll look and everybody's using the exact same GMB category. Sometimes there's a small variation. Okay. Now it's not the worst thing in the world to have 
to have a painter instead of painting, but I want to use the one that everybody else is using. So I come over here to Pro Painting Services. I went to his GMB, and I noticed that he's using painting. So the first thing that I would do is I'm going to go back and check. It appears that more people are using painter than painting, right? You notice, right? I'm noticing more people are using painter. You know, so I personally would use, look, everybody's coming up using painter. I would, I would change my GMB category from painting to painter. So it would be painter, painting, and then service establishment. Those would be my three GMB categories. The way that I'm seeing this, guys, I'm using a program called GMB Everywhere. It's a plugin for Chrome, and it allows me to see the GMB categories. Okay, so now I have the, the GMB categories. Now what I want to do is come over to the website. Now, we're going to go over the website, and I want you to take a look at your website and see if you're making some of the same mistakes. Well, when we go to the homepage, take a look at how many calls to action there are. There's schedule a free estimate, there's request a quote, and get a free estimate. If I asked the owner of Pro Painting Services what he'd like people to do, he'd probably say call, probably. But then again, you know, fill out, request a quote. I'm sure that's fine too, right? But most people want to call. So he's got three buttons to pick. You could also email him and you could also call him. However, this isn't a hot link. This isn't a link here. So I can't just tap to call, right? Look how small his phone number is. What I would do, is I would put the phone number nice and big over here, and underneath I would put the credit cards that I take. Let me see. Let me show you what I mean. So that's the first thing that I would do. Notice this, call us now, and here's the credit cards. Only one, one call to action. If you, want phone, if you want phone calls, just put your phone number. All right, so that's the first thing. The second thing that I would do, whoops, sorry about that. <laughs> the second thing that I would do is we, ha we need to change his note navigation. Now, if you want to talk about something that drives me crazy, it's putting a home link when you click the logo and it goes to the same place. Let me tell you what I mean. I click the about and I click the logo and it brings me home. This is wasted space. People know to click the logo. So what would I put here? What I would put here are the other two GMB categories. And let me see if I could explain this very, very easy. We said that the home page, the GMB category is going to change to painter. So I would put professional house painting uh, professional house painter in Orlando, Florida. Or well, five-star Google-reviewed professional house painter in Orlando, Florida. That This would be my H tag. Everything on this homepage would be about two things. The keyword, the GMB category painter and Orlando, Florida, where he registered his, his GMB. So if we scroll down a bit, here's another H tag, Pro Painting Services by JG Smart Services. This should say Pro, Painting, Pro Painter Services in Orlando, Florida. Right? Our painting services located in our painter services, not painting. Our GMB category is, is supposed to be painter. Our painter services located in Orlando, Florida. Remember, guys, I'm just saying this off the top of my head. I, uh, I, I would change, you know, you get the idea, right? Our painter service. I probably wouldn't say that. I would say, 
you know, uh, 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 I like to say, or well, top rated painter services in Orlando, right? So just give me a little time to think. What our custom, what our painter services are saying in Orlando, Florida? What sets us apart? That doesn't mean anything. All your, all your H tags, these are your H tags, these big texts right here, should be all about two things, what you do and where you do it. Now, I don't know if this is him. I'm going to say it's probably not. This appears to be stock photography. Guys, if it's your business, please don't be camera shy. So I'm going to let somebody in my house. Wouldn't it be a good idea if I knew, if I saw the picture of the person coming into my house on your homepage right here? I'm letting this person in my house. How do I know who it is? Right? So I want to see one picture. I don't want to see a gallery of pictures. This is 1999. We don't do this anymore. We don't put galleries of pictures behind. Why is that? Because people are using cell phones these days. These pictures take a long time to load. They're distracting to older people. Right? They could go to your gallery to see the pictures. They don't need to be distracted here. They're distracted by three different calls of service. Your phone number, that's uh, 0.5 font. And then pictures scrolling all over. You want to see? You want to see a website? You want to see a website? And I'll, I'll I'll show you what I mean. When you watch my videos, right? You watch my videos, and you come to my website. You go, that's the guy I know. I know from the from the uh, YouTube videos. That's him. That's the guy, right? Then you call me on the phone, and I'm the one who you speak to. Right? So I want to see the same thing. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting that. I want to see the same thing here. I want to see a nice big picture of you either working or by your van or something like that. Get rid of all these pictures in the background, this scrolling uh, uh, gallery of pictures. Okay? All right. Now we're going to talk about your setup. Your home page is everything about the keyword painter. And it's about Orlando. Everything. Now, on the bottom of your page, you should also put something about Orlando somewhere here. Okay, you should put like right in, in this area should be a background picture of Orlando and then you write over it. Yeah, we'll, go, we'll go to it again. Let me show you what I mean. So on this website, I think he services North Carolina. You'll notice on the bottom, here's a map, and here's something about North Carolina. Remember, all Google cares about is where you do it and what you do. All right, so you want to put something like this about the city that you work. It's where you registered your GMB, not where you want business from. So if you're located in Winter Park, that's not Orlando, it's outside Orlando. You have to put Winter Park, okay? All right, so we come back to pro painting and we're gonna go through this very easy. Instead of saying home, this should be your second GMB category. What do I mean by that? Well, we already used painter for home. Your second GMB category is painting, then service establishment as your third. Okay. So instead of home, we're gonna we're going to put painting. And then we're gonna drop down there and we're gonna put service establishment. So underneath painting, where, where it says home here, it's gonna say painting. Then it's going to say service establishment. A drop down, what I mean, a drop down is something just like this. Okay? You use painter, right? You use painter for your homepage, but your second GMB category is painting. You're going to put it first. Your first link should say painting, not home. Then your second link, your drop down link, should say service establishment. And you need content for those two pages. You need content for painting 
and you need content for service establishment. You have to use the GMB category. Uh, 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 you need to use the category service establishment and make make it relate to painting, uh, to, to being a painter or a painting, right? House painter. Okay. Your second link should not be about us. It should be painting services. So here where it says painting service, where it says services, move it over and it should say painting services. And these are the painting services. Okay, I don't believe you have enough keyword pages here. I don't believe that exterior house painting, interior painting, and cabinet painting is, are enough keyword pages. Okay, so I would definitely find more keyword pages and I would, I would, this should go down like, you know, 10 or 15. Now, another thing you want to make sure is that you have enough words on your page. So somewhere around the thousand. Nobody believes this, man, except me, believes that this is a real person. Like, like don't use stock photography. Use yourself. It's your business. Don't get camera shy for your business and then go on your Facebook and you're doing all kinds of crazy things, right? Now, you may not be a social media person. You may not like pictures of yourself. But once again, where you do, what you do, right? Okay. Now, your third link should be areas we serve. So one of the areas you serve is Orlando, then Winter Park, then a drop down of all the areas you serve. But just do it within 5, 10, 15 miles from your, the center where you where you registered your, your GMB. Let me see if I could. Okay. So, for example, if you registered your GMB, somewhere around here, right? Somewhere around here in the center here, well then, what you need to do is you need to go to, you know, College Park, create a page for College Park, Baldwin Park, uh, Barber Park. I'm just trying to find areas. Kirkman South that are not too far away. Maybe, maybe Richmond Heights. Maybe Kirkman South is too far. Richmond Heights, Clear Lake, Sunset Lake, right around this area. Like five or ten miles around this area. And those drop-down pages should go right here areas we service okay so we're going to do it again so it's just but i'll do it quicker gmb your second and third categories go here your painting services go here areas we serve go here those are your three links gmb categories keyword pages areas we serve after that, do whatever you want. Put about us, FAQs. Your contact link should always go last. Come on, guys. You didn't like it. You didn't subscribe yet. I'm watching you. Oh, and contact. If they go to the same place. Right? In fact, people will know to go to your contact page to request a quote. All right? Okay. I'd like to see an updated logo. Somehow, someway, I've seen this logo before. Underneath the logo, I'd like to know the area you serve. So, for example, serving all of downtown uh, Orlando right underneath, right? With a little map pin right here. And, and uh, let me know where you service. I would get rid of all this. And this is where I put my phone number nice and big up on top with the credit cards underneath it. So this, this area I would rework. I would take this gallery out, just add one picture of the owner and, and a call to action, like call us. Okay, the next thing I do is I type in site. This is important, guys. Site, go to Google. Type in site, semicolon, 
pro and put in your domain name. In this case, I'm putting pro paint to service. And I want you to scroll down and you'll notice ghost pages, meaning pages where there's no content. I can't tell you how many websites I take a look at and there are blank pages left over from the template. This was left over from the template. This needs to be removed. Take a look at yours and it's super easy just by going to site, semicolon, and don't put in HTTPS or www, just put site colon, your domain name, and look to see if you have any ghost pages. If you do, get rid of those, get rid of those pages. All right, so if we're trying to rank in this area, right, we're trying to, we need signals showing that we service areas in this area. So those signals need to be on your website and, and the other ones are, are, are user signals. So what do I mean by that? We're going to use, for example, the Orlando Science Center. Orlando Science Center, I could guarantee you, is the only Orlando Science Center in the United States. It should be, at least, right? It's located in Orlando. And we don't have to worry about, for example, uh, a restaurant depot where there's restaurant depots all over the United States, right? Orlando Science Center is a place, it's a landmark. It's only located in Orlando. So I would get a review saying, I live by the Orlando Science Center. I contacted uh, Pro Painting Service and spoke to Joffrey. And Joffrey came um, to my residence um, and gave me a professional estimate. He was on time for exterior house painting. The price was affordable. Uh, uh, he was polite, he was on time, you know, all the things that Google asks you, right? So then I get another one from Baldwin Park or Auburn Park. Hi, I'm located in Auburn Park in Orlando and I called Pro Paint to Services and I spoke with Joffrey and uh, he was able to come out and give me a quote on uh, interior painting, right? You want to say the area you're from, the keyword, the owner's name, who you dealt with, and the service or services that were provided. That's extremely important. So a lot of times I speak with people and I say, how many reviews do you have? And when I look at their reviews, they have... Um, 100 or 200 reviews and two things happen. One, keywords aren't used and areas aren't used in their review, meaning they didn't say I'm located in Orlando or I live by College, college Park in Orlando, right? They don't say that. They just say Joffrey is a, is a, uh, was fantastic. And that's okay. All your reviews cannot be optimized. It doesn't look real to the reader and it doesn't look real to Google. But if all your reviews are not optimized, it is not going to help you in the Google three pack. So you need to have five out of 10, six out of 10 that are optimized. How do you get a client to say that it's hard enough to get a review, right? In my last video, I, ex I had explained that you should always have your review link uh, in your cell phone, meaning that all you have to do is go in and, um, and text yourself. I'm going to show you how to get your review link next. Okay, so real simple, guys, really, really simple. I'm going to show you how to get your review link. Well. First, you come over to Google and you type in google.com slash business. And once you hit manage now or sign in, you'll come to a page, you'll come to your page 
and you'll see um, your listing, right? You click it and you'll come to a page just like this. I manage multiple listings, so I forgot how, uh, if you only have one, how it, how it looks. All right, but you're eventually gonna get, you're gonna get to a page like this. Now, you come over to where it says, uh, ask for a review. See here on the bottom? You need to be logged in to your Gmail account that you registered the, uh, the, the Google My Business with. So you have to make sure that you're using the correct Gmail account, all right? Once you do that, you'll see a couple of boxes right here, and then you'll see Ask for a Review. You click Ask for a Review, and you just copy this link. All you do is just tap this right here, and you copy it. Now, what I like to do is I like to write myself an email, and what I do is I paste this link in the email. Then I pick it up on my cell phone, and I open my, my Gmail, and I copy the link, and I text it to myself. And then this way, what I could do is every time I need it, I go to my text that I texted myself, I copy it, and if I go to Miss Jones, I say, Miss Jones, can I have your cell number? And I provide the, te the, uh, the link to her. All she has to do is click the link. As soon as she clicks the link, she's going to go to, the, to uh, the review page. Okay, so it's very, it's very, very simple. Let me show you. I'll put it right here. So I just copied that review link. And as soon as she clicks it or he clicks it, it's going to go to this page right here where you'll be able to provide a five-star review. You're not allowed to tell your clients how many stars to post, but I certainly would nudge them a little bit. Okay? It's also great if they're able to provide pictures. If they could attach some pictures to it, even better even better try to what i would do i told somebody once get some five dollar uh dunkin donuts gift cards starbucks gift cards and and give them to your client when you first get there along with the link and at the end when you're writing out the invoice or collecting the payment you could casually say by the way did you get a chance to write that review and some people will say yes, some people will say no, and some people need some help with it, right? They're not writers. So that would be your opportunity. Maybe they can't see their phone, right? Maybe maybe you, you would be better at that and say, hey, you know, is this okay to say? And post a review, right? You want to stay within Google's guidelines, of course. That's the most important thing, right? Another thing, guys, don't buy reviews. Don't buy reviews. Don't buy fake reviews. Um, it's not going to do you any good, and there's a good chance you're going to get suspended. Now, I was going to say another thing. I want to show you something right here. Okay, so let's say you were Detroit Voltage, and you were an electric company called Detroit Voltage, right? But... You wanted to change your name, your, your GMB name, to Detroit Voltage Electric Company. And you put the word electric company on the top over there. All right, how do you, how do, you do that? Let me show you. Let me show you how to do that. I got to show you guys everything. All right? This is really important, though, because what happens... When you edit your profile, if you edit your name, if you edit your business name, like if I put Mindsaw Local SEO and I clicked Save, you get a different CID number. Your CID number is similar to a, your, your uh, Social Security number. So everybody in the United States has a Social Security number. However, if you change your name in Google, Google gives a CID number. If you change your name in Google, you may get a different CID number. What does that mean? You lose all your reviews. So I have like 160 reviews. If I were to change Mindsaw to Mindsaw Local SEO, click Save, 
there's a very good chance that I would lose all my reviews. Do not mess with your name. Whatever your name, whatever you put your name here, leave it. Because if you change your name, you could lose your reviews. And don't try to call Google and try to tell them that story. You're not going to get it. You're not going to get it changed back. All right? So that, that's the whole thing. All right. I hope this video helped you. I hope, uh, I hope you subscribed and, you, and you, know, you liked this video. And the most important thing, guys, is that you're good to your family. Right? We do this work. We do this work because we love it. We love the business that you're in. You're watching my videos and other videos, other, other SEOs videos, because you're trying to improve your business. I commend you for that. But please don't forget about your family. Don't sit in front of your computer all day and ignore your family. Take out the garbage, walk the dog, take your kids out for a little bit, right? And, and, and uh, always, always be friendly with your family. Be nice to your family, love your family. Because that's what it's all about, right? If you're able to have a family and you're able to do your own thing and, and have your own business and, and sit here for an hour and try to, you know, rank your business, you're a rich man. You're already wealthy, right? You have everything that anybody could ever, ever ask for. All we're trying to do is just improve upon that. And I'll, I'm glad that you are watching my video and, and, and I'm the one who's helping you a little bit, right? I, I'm honored that I'm helping you. you could, you could have watched any other channel on YouTube. You could have read a book. You could, there's a lot of things you could have been doing, and you sat here from, with me for uh, you know, 40 minutes watching, watching this video. So I really hope it helped. And if there's anything I could do, you see my phone number here. Shoot me over a text. I'm happy to help you. And uh, have a great day. We'll catch you soon. Thanks, guys.